in uh, plant communities on riverbanks or riparian zones. And I'm interested in the diversity of these plant communities and how floods influence the diversity and also how they influence the abundance of invasive or non-native species. Um, previous studies have shown that riparian zones are often much more diverse than associated upland habitats uh, comparatively and also that they uh, harbor a lot more non-native species than associated upland habitats. But many of these studies have been done in larger river systems, in large floodplains. So I was interested in seeing if these same patterns hold in smaller streams and woodlands where the flood regime is a lot less predictable and maybe there would be different patterns in what happens with the plant communities. So I studied the plant communities on the very edge of the riverbank and a meter up slope in three streams in the upper Hudson watershed in upstate New York State. And I surveyed the abundance, cover, and number of species in these plant communities. And I compared the diversity and number of non-native species right at the edge of the riverbank with the diversity and number of non-native species a meter upslope, which is about the range of flooding height in these systems. So down here next to the river channel, these are frequently influenced by changes in water level, whereas even just a meter up the slope, it's a lot less influenced by the disturbance of changes in water level. So what I found was that down next to the river, ch the river channel, um, there are significantly more plant species than even just a meter up in elevation. Uh, but looking at diversity, so taking into account the balance of abundance of different species, there's no difference. So it appears that the number of species, even though it's higher down at the edge of the riverbank, uh, this is really driven by just a few more abundant species. And that when we take into account the evenness of the abundance of these different species, it's about the same at the green line and even a meter upslope. Looking at the abundance of non-native species, I have confirmed the same patterns that have been seen in previous studies where there are more non-native species in the, uh, the edge of the river than a meter upslope, but this seems to be driven by the fact that there's just a greater number of species overall at the edge of the river as opposed to a meter upslope, because if I take into account um, the proportion of non-native species out of the number of species, it's the same here and even a meter upslope. Um, but what's I think interesting is that if I look at the number of individuals of non-native species, it's almost twice as high uh, right next to the riverbank to a meter upslope. So if I'm taking into account the number of individual plants as opposed to the number of species, there really are a lot more non-native species right at the edge of the river as opposed to even a meter upslope. So this is consistent with, is, uh, with what's been seen in larger rivers. Um, so even though in um, smaller rivers the disturbance regime is a lot less predictable, it seems to be a similar pattern as to what's been seen in larger floodplains where the flooding regime is a lot more predictable. <laughs>